he had his arm around my throat and I felt the metal from the knife here. So he said, you know, just get in the car. And this was the moment where I realized that something was wrong. He looked over at me and he said, can you take your hair down? I'd had my hair in a bun. I just felt sick. I took him very seriously because he was just crazy. He was just, he was high. He was completely erratic. He would be, he would go f from being calm one moment to yelling and in a blind rage the next. So I didn't know at which point this would turn into him stabbing me to death. He had intentionally kept me vulnerable by having me remain undressed. So, and he even said at one point, like, if you, if you try to run away, you're gonna have to run away naked because you don't get to wear any clothes. I, I felt completely detached and shut down. It's so, something so horrible and intolerable that we can't be present for it. But I never stopped asking him to please let me go. I never stopped trying to talk my way out of it. I, I, I would try to remind him that we were friends and that he had promised me he wasn't going to hurt me, that he wasn't going to assault me anymore. He vacillated in between, saying that he was sorry he, would, he had done that and he wouldn't do it anymore to telling me that he would do what he liked and if he wanted to kill me, he was gonna kill me and if he wanted to rape me, he was gonna rape me. It's, he never stops having the power to end my life. And he said that he had had, he'd had such a nice time with me and that maybe one day he would come back and take me on a date.